And our third topic here in the show, guys, I want to talk about StarCraft 3. We've talked a little bit about the current state of StarCraft. We've talked about the esports side of, of StarCraft. But now I want to talk about the future of StarCraft and where could we potentially be going here moving forward. You guys know that I love talking about the future of games, and you guys can see that all on my YouTube channel, tons of different titles that I've, that me personally, it's pretty much, you know, my personal opinions, but, you know, uh, games that I have grown up with, games that I absolutely love, and games that I would love to see continued at some point in the future, you guys can check out all that content on the YouTube channel, but I've made a lot of it, and one of the games that I've talked about a lot is StarCraft Three. I have been an advocate to try to get StarCraft 3 made, um, you know, a StarCraft 3 uh, continuation. And a lot of this goes down to not only continuing the legacy and the lore that is StarCraft, but I think it's also, you know, continuing um, the, you know, from an esports perspective to, you know, a, a story perspective to a, you know, just a, a, a a player base perspective to pretty much everything out there, guys. I mean, every 10 years, like as we've kind of looked at StarCraft in its history, you know, we had 10 years between StarCraft 1 and StarCraft 2. We're at the 10 year anniversary right now of, of StarCraft 2 at this point. StarCraft 3 has not been announced as of yet, but there's been rumblings and talk that a StarCraft 3 is going to be coming at some point in the foreseeable future. And this kind of leads me to a couple of things here, guys. Number one is, is that StarCraft 3, I've stated many times that this would obviously continue the legacy and the lore that is StarCraft. From a esports perspective, StarCraft Two was kind of one of the pioneers in esports, and I think that StarCraft Three could continue that moving forward. StarCraft Two was at a point when it came out; it was one of those games that had such a, you know, a positive, you know, reflection on esports as being one of those like founding father games that came out in esports. And I think that it's it would just do so much justice to have StarCraft Three come out. Um, at some point and kind of continue that because it would put a spotlight once again on StarCraft, number one, but number two is also the real-time strategy genre. Now, another thing we've talked about is what kind of form would StarCraft 3 make? I've stated that it needs to be a real-time strategy. However, we have seen that there were two first-person shooter StarCraft games that have been canceled. One was called StarCraft Ghost, and then more recently, it was an untitled StarCraft first-person shooter that were was also canceled. So two first-person shooters based in the StarCraft universe were canceled, guys, over at Blizzard. Now, you can look at that from a negative perspective and think, well, we'll never get a first-person shooter StarCraft game, or you can look at it from the perspective that at least Blizzard is still looking at making something based around StarCraft. Whether we're talking a real-time strategy, or if we're thinking, you know, a first-person shooter, a mobile game, whatever it is, they definitely have StarCraft on the back of their minds. And it's been a while, and so... What if we got StarCraft 3 as a real-time strategy, which I think is what it needs to be, but we also got a first-person shooter? We also got a mobile game. What this does, guys, is it builds the legacy and lore that is StarCraft and gives us another, pretty much guarantees us, even though it's not 100% guaranteed, but pretty much confirms that we're going to get another 10 years of StarCraft from an esports perspective to uh, just, you know, being able to have consistent, you know, DLC that comes out every couple of years and, you know, things of that nature. I have stated one of the biggest gripes I've had about the StarCraft community is that a lot of people in the StarCraft community are almost kind of concerned. There's a real fear that they don't want to go into the unknown into a StarCraft 3 because I think a lot of people are concerned that it's not going to be as good as StarCraft 2. And my answer to that is even if StarCraft 3 isn't as good as StarCraft 2, you can always go back to the other games if it's not as good. And well, knowing Blizzard, sure, things have changed over at the company. There's no debate about it. But when I look at it, they still got it when it comes to graphics. Imagine a StarCraft 3 with even more updated graphics. I mean, we saw the change from StarCraft 1 to StarCraft 2. Imagine what it would be StarCraft 2 to StarCraft 3. With the updated graphics and such, it could be an absolutely gorgeous game. Also, StarCraft 3 could lead us into an era where it no longer is just 
um, a 1v1 when it comes to the esports side of things. And we've seen like team leagues and such in, in StarCraft 2, but I think in StarCraft 3, what if they made it more of a a team-based esport where they also had 1v1s but they also had the team base because we know guys when we're talking team v team versus team those are the esports that are the biggest in the world right now league of legends and you know you can look at like even games like call of duty and um i mean the list goes on and on guys right what i'm getting at is starcraft 3 would also be an opportunity to have like a fresh start for starcraft Another thing that people don't like talking about in the StarCraft community, which I have not shied away from, is talking about the issues that we had early on, relatively early on, in StarCraft 2. Uh, one being the match-fixing scandal that ended up happening. Of course, you know, Life was one of those uh, one of those pro players that was caught in the midst, uh, midst of all of that. And people don't like talking about that, but that is a part of StarCraft 2 history. And a lot of advertisers, a lot of teams, that being esports teams, pulled out of StarCraft 2 because of the match-fixing scandal. StarCraft 3 would be a fresh start. It would be, a, you know, kind of like a rebirth of StarCraft, showing that StarCraft is still on top when it comes to the esports world. It's still got it. It's still, you know, going to continue innovating and transcending the space that being the real-time strategy genre. It could bring back the RTS genre in a major way. When we look at other RTSs out there, there's not that many, and none of them have the prestige that is StarCraft. So, look, StarCraft 3 could continue so much for, for, for this brand, for this franchise that we have all grown to love and admire over the years. Will Blizzard do it? I do believe they will. I do. Even though there's fear amongst the community and such, guys, I think that we're building a really nice movement. Just, just you know, within what I've been talking about on YouTube, there are other people who absolutely want to see a continuation of StarCraft 3. Now, sure, there's other people who don't, but I think that there's starting to become a much wider, uh, you know, audience and, and talk of a StarCraft 3 coming out at some point or another in the future. So what do you guys think? Do you think we should get a StarCraft 3 in the foreseeable future? Do you think that, you know, we should just stay complacent with StarCraft 2 for another, say, 5 to 10 years? Or do you think we should take that leap of faith? Or do you think, you know, Blizzard should take that leap of faith, make another game, continue trying to transcend the space, continue the legacy, the lore, the story? And, and the story, guys, there's so many, I mean, I feel like StarCraft is like Star Wars. There's so many different planets, so many different places to explore and, and start understanding. There's so much that you can explore. Even if you didn't want to follow, you know, Raynor, you know, uh, and, and Kerrigan and such, even if you wanted to like kind of go into a completely new, you know, galaxy or something, whatever it is, you could definitely continue the story. You could add a new race, like a hybrid race, which is what we talked about in the past. Having a hybrid race would be really interesting, adding like new races to StarCraft 3. Things like that are what continue, you know, the legacies. And it, and it, you know, in my opinion, I just think that we need to get over being, you know, complacent about, you know, StarCraft 2 or just, you know, having a continuation of this franchise. You know, you got to stare into the unknown and sometimes you have to go down that unknown and, you know, see what happens. And sometimes like knowing, Star, you know, knowing StarCraft and Blizzard, I feel that Blizzard, this is a labor of love for them. They absolutely want to continue this franchise moving forward. In my opinion, why can't they continue it from a real-time strategy perspective as well as a first-person shooter perspective, as well as maybe a mobile game as well? I just think, guys, that this is a game that needs to happen. It's not one that, you know, just like, like it's not necessary or something. I think that it is necessary. I think that there's, with a shaky history, with, there would be a ton of excitement around a StarCraft 3. It would bring a lot of other advertisers as well as, you know, uh, you know, pro teams out there coming into StarCraft from a team perspective that could be huge. From even a 1v1 perspective, it just continues it moving forward. I see a lot more positives than negatives, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Let's have a, a real conversation about it.